the second part just you know like completely went downhill because ah hi i'm rupal and how are you all i hope you're all good i finally finished reading the bell jar by sylvia plath um and i loved it i did but i'm also a bit confused as to what happened towards the end because i felt like it was a cliffhanger and i'm just hoping that making this video would actually help me formulate my opinions in a clearer way um so yeah i hope you enjoy this rant so the first thing i loved about this book was that it was set in the 1950s um and it's great because normally i wouldn't expect my parents or grandparents to be facing any sort of mental health or depression i would know that they were really sad at one point of time but i wouldn't really uh, put them and depression in the same sentence um so yeah it was really good and refreshing to know that someone in the 1950s also faced the same problem as our generation does then it was quite easy to read and like i was not expecting that because the other classics that i have read even though i could understand them um there were still a few phrases or sentences or parts which were you know like a little bit difficult and went straight over my head so that was quite nice about this book you know how easily i was able to go through with it you could divide this book into two parts the first part being really relatable and understandable i feel like that's a word um it reminded me of people living in mumbai or any sort of metropolitan city you know how they share their experiences as being difficult to live difficult to cope up with everything and it's so so lonely because no one there cares about you no one cares what you are going through because they are in some way going through the same thing so it was really good to read that and i also was missing mumbai a little bit so i felt really good to read about their miseries of living there then it was relatable not in a depressing sort of way but like uh when we are really 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 sad and the feelings we get is i feel like sylvia plath sort of put those feelings into words while i was reading that i was like this is exactly how i feel when i'm really sad that i think is really beautiful because i have never had my sad feelings put into words so that kind of felt really special i'll just read you a quote to explain the relatable thing i'm talking about after doreen left i wondered why i couldn't go the whole way doing what i should anymore this made me sad and tired then i wondered why i couldn't go the whole way doing what i shouldn't the way doreen did and this made me even sadder and more tired it is quotes like these that you know just made me connect with this book and empathize with Esther a lot more than I should have and it was really beautiful to read about and you know just it felt amazing it felt amazing so this was basically how the first half went you know it was easy breezy and really relatable um then the second part happened and it just went completely downhill the mood shifted so suddenly that i wasn't able to understand how to feel i had to wikipedia my thoughts and when i thought about it later i realized that it was actually emotionally draining me because i was feeling really lazy to go through with it and you know i read one chapter and then i was like ah and then i i have waited like a day maybe to read the second chapter uh, to read the next chapter and this was me the whole day throughout the second part so the second part basically explains the turn of events in Esther's life how when she went home she came to the realization that she did not get the job she was hoping for everything was not going like she wanted you know and it just made her even more sad and tired and depressed than she already was 
obviously as i was uh, saying in the beginning of the video that it is really difficult for us to imagine our parents or grandparents to have be to have been facing the same situations as we did and here it was the proof because her mother did not want to understand the fact that her daughter is going through something she did not she was like i know you're not one of those girls i know you can be better if you really think about it if you really decide to be better which is so weird how can someone decide to be better this was also the time when esther started getting suicidal she was thinking of so many dark thoughts about ways to commit suicide and she then actually committed suicide and she was found then she was put into this uh, psychiatrist uh, psychiatric hospital or mental hospital and asylum yeah so the tone of the second half was exactly like this throughout the book and i have i was finding it so difficult to understand how esther is feeling because even though i could empathize with her in the beginning of the book i just couldn't imagine what she was going through like it has never happened to me so obviously i can't see myself in her place being suicidal or depressed at the you know, for me the smallest things and yeah it was it was really depressing to read which is why i was really confused about my thoughts towards the end like in the end i think she got better uh yeah in the end she got better and she was having this sort of interview um with the hospital staff to see if she was uh, fit to go out in the real world again and it just stopped there like it just stopped to the uh, stopped at the part where she was getting ready to ready for the interview and then the end i don't know what happened to her i don't know if she relapsed if she was okay if she if the interview went well if she was able to go out to in the real world what she did i wanted to know all about this but i didn't it was like i wrote the book now it is up to your imaginations what you think about my future i don't care and i read that silvia plath actually committed suicide 3 months after this book was released so again i don't know what to think about that ending because i want to think that um esther sort of went into a good correct way even though she relapsed she still found her way back but hearing this about silvia plath that she committed suicide um it just i don't know gives this book a more depressing tone than it already has and yeah this these these were my thoughts throughout the book like what am i supposed to expect with that ending do i like it do i not like it the another thing about the second part was that one day something was happening the second day another thing was happening and i just couldn't cope up with it i was having such difficulty trying to understand what she is trying to tell me because like i had to read the same sentence same chapter two or three times before i was able to understand that oh this okay so she is talking about this but even though i did not like the ending i loved this book like five stars this book has a special place in my heart because i have never read something like this like it is so weird dark twisted but beautiful amazing at the same time and it was just completely unexpected extraordinary and i love it i love this book this is a must read for everyone if you are watching this video and you have been till the end you need to read this this is amazing beautiful you have to read this so i think i know how i feel about this book i love it i did i i enjoyed it i loved it and i don't think i would be able to find a book like this anytime soon but if you have any recommendations then please comment in the description and i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this rant if you found it confusing um, thank you thank you for bearing with me and yeah bye